What is up guys, it's Mikey Chimamo here and welcome to the final episode of my Gothic 3 playthrough. Now I was here in the last episode in the hope to find the Lurker Stone, but man oh man was I off. I've googled it, um, normally I wouldn't google as much, but um, you know, as a druid, as a servant of Adenals, it's my duty to get all the druid stones. Now currently have all the druid stones except one, well two, the shadow beast which I gave to the orc shaman of Geldern and the lurker druid stone which I was originally here for. However it is not here, it is actually somewhere around here. So uh, let me get the druid stone of the lurker the seventh druid stone of the game which was uh, in vanilla gothic i must must uh, say that in advance if you're not vanilla gothic you cannot get the lurker um druid stone without using command codes also known as console commands um but since i use community patch it has been implanted I only have to uh, find it. But I was apparently way off. I'm not seeing shit. This way. It's for moments like these that I Google, you know, so that things could work out just like Larson, he vanished into thin air. Had no idea which route he took. Googled it, wasn't f still not findable. <coughs> so I eventually teleported to him and knew then instantly where he was. More this way. This is uh, the uh, cave, so let's get it, fuck the lurkers. Where is it? Yes it is. Transformation potion. Another transformation potion, a diary. And the druid stone of the lurker. So it's located uh, right over here. Just after you know you come from Bakaresh, go towards Lago instead of towards the little island here. All right, so since that has been taken care of, as you can see, where is it? The lurker, the lion, the lizard, the lurker, the ripper beast, the snapper, and the wolf. And then you also have the shadow beast, which I gave to one of the the leader shaman of Geldon. So uh, yeah, let's go to Zardis and uh, finish the game. Am I proud to Google stuff? No. Am I honest about it? Indeed that I am. So, you know, it's better to be honest than to lie about it, hide it or whatever. Because uh, even I am no expert. Zubin is dead. His power is no longer in this world, and that is what matters. Belia's influence will also become weaker, but it is not yet at an end. I have the staff of the Wanderer. It seems somehow familiar. Hmm. 
All right. Keep it. It will be of use to us later. There. I have done everything that was necessary. Then we are ready at last. Ready to leave this world together. With the staff and the scepter, we will open the portal to the unknown land. And then? And then we go through. It is just as I said. No one knows the end of the path that we are stepping onto. Let me know when you are ready. I will be here. Where else? How do you know that the portal will open? In all the days I have spent here, I have not been idle. I have been able to learn a few things, including the fact that the staff and scepter are much older than we realize. And? And that they are of the same workmanship as the portal. Yes, the portal raises many questions. Who built it? Why are there no records of it? When was it built? I have spent a great deal of time studying the interconnectedness of the universe, and despite this, I am still far from understanding it. All I ask of you is that you walk this path together with me, but I cannot do it alone, Decider. I am ready for the unknown land. There is nothing keeping me here either. Well then? Yes. Time to go. Okay, so I can't quit both. Just in case we come across a couple of critters. As a fire mage, I will wear and wield that staff. This is gonna be a long road, JDS, because we have to go all the way from here, which is around somewhere around here. We have to go all the way to Silden, into the mountains. So it's going to be quite a road. But this is the official ending of the Gothic 3 games. I wanted to give it to Khan, but uh, apparently that's not possible. So, since the Orcs are working for Zardas, Zardas ordered them. You know, to uh, get the divine artifacts, get them to Geldern, and then ship them over in one way or another to Zardas so he could go into the mountains. No, you dare to strike me! Tangling with me was a mistake. So the Hashishin has sent the desert people all the way to Norma just to try to stop us. Well, not gonna work. The reason Zardas took Balear's power 
was to make sure that Balear wouldn't transfer his power to, let's say, Zubin, in this case, you know. Um, because that's how it works. I defeated the Sleeper, the, the power of the Sleeper does Balear converted to an undead dragon. That power was consumed by Zardas, so he could use that power for the greater good, you know, and the, uh, the ma reason why he made the war in the orcs favor is uh, just because of the fact nor Enos, thus the rebels and King Robar, nor the Hashishin, the servant of Balear, could gain the upper hand and he had no choice but to work with the orcs. Because it was the only way to maintain balance. That's also why I join the servant. Well, as a servant of Adenos, I join the orcs because the orcs work for Zardas, and uh, Zardas is the powerful balance. Because for King Robar, you have to kill Zardas, you have to kill Zubin. For Zubin, you have to kill King Robar the second, and Zardas. You know, so those two paths will also have the a different ending but uh, this one is the original one the one and only true ending But we are nearly at the end of the game. And thus, Forsaken Gods begins. Well, first I have to, you know, install the game, boot the game, change the settings to things, you know, make an actual profile for OBS, etc. Get the settings all right and set it up. And then we're gonna continue to Forsaken Gods. But it will be done nevertheless, because uh, even though I'm looking against playing Forsaken Gods, against playing Gothic 4, Fall of Satyrif and Arcania itself, I will do them just for the sake of the Gothic series. Because they do make connections with one another, despite the fact that uh, Joe Wood released it, you know, too early. Well, forced them to release it too early. Uh, you just don't get it, do you? Never be a safe road, eh?
gonna ignore as most creatures as I possibly can so I can get the f to the end of the game as fast as I can. I will stomp that beast! Where did I add Zardis? Because, uh, all these creatures. Never mind. Safe, so I don't have to rewalk all the way. Where you going, man? Why go through the rebels' camp? Look him in like a boss right through the tree. All right, it's near the black troll. Apparently, thought was over there in the mountains, but. We'll see where Zardis will lead us to. I have no other option but to follow him. He's going towards the shadow beasts. Ah, uh, shadow beast. Black jewel. It's hard to confuse me, Zardis. Oh well, wherever he goes to, it's the right location. So I don't have to worry about that.
because he did save my life twice. Hostile orcs? What? I'm gonna let you have it! He also used Adonis magic, but that should have been explained early on. No. Since he uses Golem, you know, summon the nice Golem, Adonis, fire Golem, Adonis. <laughs> like the fact that I'm taking and going to into the mountains which is this one you could say that there's this gi one giant block that can be moved if you are uh, have the, the correct materials well go through it here we are it is time to open the portal so this means that it's time to bid farewell to the world Indeed it is. We will leave the world, but the unknown land awaits us. Alright, so... Let me quick save here and quickly teleport to Khan, see if anything happens. And uh, if it does, then... I will notice that. If it doesn't, then uh, I will reload so I can go into the mountains and finish the game. Fairing, I need I need fairing, not Silden. It could be that they have turned hostile, but if that's the case, then before going to Zardas, I will show it to Khan. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Just making the triple sure, you know, sorry for the lag spikes. But uh, one, it's recording, two, it's uploading in the background. Um, because of the internet, DC constantly, which is very annoying. And uh, I'm just checking right now to see if I can deliver the artifacts to Khan. I can't, don't think that I can. I already tried it with the artifact of Adenos. But maybe with these artifacts, the one from Roba and Zubin. And if not, then uh, we'll fin finish the game win. still. They do not deserve to rule this land. We left our this homeland. Okay, so that was not the case. So the orcs does indeed only wanted to have the artifacts one to work with Zardas so that they would conquer the world basically of Mirjana and uh, give the artifacts to Zarda so that he could go into the mountains and go to the quote unknown lands. Mm. 
better be sure they're sorry, you know, so, since they were red named orcs. I had to be triply sure. The Ashishin I can understand because I killed Zubin. The Rebels I can understand because I killed Robar. Um, but the Orcs, Khan is still alive, so. Let us leave this world forever. Well then, here we go. We opened the portal to the unknown land and left this world forever. Whatever awaits us there is another story. For many years, Lee thirsted for the king's life. Because of Robar's betrayal of him, King Robar is dead. Now Lee's revenge is finally complete. His war against the orcs will only end when the last city is freed from the orcs, or Lee dies a hero's death. Gorn will keep fighting against the orcs on his own account. The orcs will learn to fear his very name. The rule of the orcs will last for many years to come. The human rebellion is defeated. Khan will be celebrated as the conqueror of the Orcish kingdom, and crowned himself the new king of Mertana. Thoris will find one last gate that he will guard, the gate to the desert of Verant. He will become governor of Trellis, and be the only human commander whom the Orcs would follow to the death. And although the last rebelling humans were defeated, one day the humans will rise again, and return to their cities. I have freed Verant from the rule of the Hashishin. Satyrus the Water Mage will lead the Nomads on a long journey, and once again they will follow the path of the Eternal Wanderer, as their forefathers did. Diego will become the richest man in the world. He always had a knack for good deals. Protected by the walls of Morasul, he will build a great trading empire. Lester will finally find his long-sought rest in Braga, and transform the hot sands of the desert into fruitful farmland for his swamp weed. Angar is weary of fighting, and will find a peaceful life in isolation among the ruins of Verant. In the mountains of Nordmar, Life will soon go on as usual. The barbarians will finally recover the land of their ancestors. It will become quiet in the White Mountains of Nordmar. Milton will remain in the monastery and study the writings of the Ancient Ones. As an old gray man, he will become the wisest of the wise and pass the ancient knowledge on to his students. It will take some time for him to see that my decision was the right one. And Loris? Well, I am sure he will always be right where there is something to be had. Well now, was that all of them? We'll see. Only one thing is certain. All will be well.
One second, let me boot Gothic 3 again, um, because apparently it shot down the game, which is a bit weird. And now you guys are looking at a black screen, you know. Um, so let me at least boot Gothic a bit, so I can um, thank you guys for watching, etc, you know. I thought, you know, the game will go back to the main menu. But uh, anyways guys, so that is uh, the Gothic 3 playthrough of Adenauts. We've beat it, the path of Adenauts. Finally I've made some progress. Um, because uh, when my old YouTube channel was hacked, I had to literally redo everything. And once I almost had completed the path of Enos, my PC died um, with Gothic 3. So imagine, I have now have to redo Gothic 2, the Path of Venus. But, um, you know, finally, finally some progress. And uh, finally, a Gothic 3 has a path that has been beaten. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go to Forsaken Gods, my friends. Now, I must say in advance, Forsaken Gods is not really one of the greatest games that I've played and it's most definitely not one of the games that I'm looking forward to play. But for the sake of Gothic series, I will beat it on all possible paths. I think it will have three. I'm not entirely sure, you know, but uh, I will beat them. Same with Gothic 4. I hate the game. I really hate the game, but for Joe Wood's sake, for the Gothic series' sake, and for Perinobite's sake and Deep Silver's sake, I will beat all of their games, whether I like it or not, as long as it has a good connection in my memory. And, uh, you know, Gothic 1 and Gothic 2 were very, very, very good games. Um, one of the greatest RPGs that I ever played. Gothic 3 was good as well. It was only a bit unfinished, and thus Forsaken Gods, you know. Um, 
but Gothic 4 is just terrible. But still, for the series' sake, I will do all three paths on every game, including Forsaken Gods and including Gothic 4. So I want to thank you guys for watching my uh, Gothic 3 playthrough, The Path of Adenos. And I hope to see you guys, even though most of you will most likely not like Forsaken Gods, I hope to see you guys in Forsaken Gods, so we can show uh, Perenabites and uh, Joe Productions and Deep Silver and all the game developers, that despite that games might sometimes be crappy, too early released, we still support them, you know. And uh, I hope to see you guys in Forsaken Gods, and if not, you know, check all the videos on my YouTube channel out for any other gameplay. And if I don't have games that you want to see yet, let me know in the comment section down below, and uh, in the future I will do them. Unless you're talking about games like Minecraft or World of Warcraft, I'm not gonna do those, at least not in the time being. But nevertheless, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate the support that you guys give, whether it's 23 supporters currently, or a million in a year from now, or two million, or a million in two years, ten years, doesn't matter. I appreciate every bit of support that kind of I can get, and uh, I hope to see you guys in any of my other videos. Um, and who knows, maybe some people that even despite Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods dislike raid, people will still watch it, who knows. I doubt it, but I'm gonna do it nevertheless, uh, just for the Gothic series case. But uh, yeah, again, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, and if you do, hit the notification bell. Uh, feel free to leave positive, negative feedback on the video, you know, in the comment section down below. What do you think of Gothic, etc. in this general? Not as, you know, individually, but as a series, as a whole, even though they fuck things up. Just let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to hate rage on the video, that's fine as well. Leave negative feedback behind, because every feedback that I can get, I can use to improve my channel further. So that I can get more community, do more games more efficiently, faster, appropriately, you know, and um, I hope to see you guys next time, so, uh, and don't forget, of course, to thumbs up or thumbs down, preferably thumbs up, you know, but uh, that's entirely up for you to, for you guys to decide, but uh, I'm gonna set things ready for Forsaken Gods, and, um, well, at least adjust the settings, etc., and work a bit on the timestamps of Gothic 3, but Gothic 3, ladies and gentlemen, has been completed, finally, and uh, I hope to see you guys next time, so good day to you guys.